is the Dave Steeran Show on KFQD. Dial 522-0750. Outside of Anchorage, toll free, 888 And now, here's Dave Steeran. Well, by now, unless you were uh, on the road, you're aware that South Central experienced two uh, aftershocks a couple hours ago. And the number now is approximately 2,888 post-Friday tremors. But honestly, at this point, who's paying attention? Who's really counting? Welcome to the Dave Steeran Show on FM News 1037 KFQD. The Dave Steeran Show continues now, only on FM News 1037 KFQD. Well, coming up this Friday, unless the whole damn building shakes to the ground at the E Street Theater, the 18th Annual Anchorage International Film Festival screening uh, commences, and the leadoff, and I think one of the more interesting pieces that you will see is The Weight of Success, the director of the piece and the subject of the piece, both joining me by, either by the Newsmaker Liner here in studio, uh, M. Douglas Silverstein. Steen. Steen. Steen Stein. Stein. Hey. I, I know. Uh, you're here in studio. <laughs> How you doing? I'm great. So I'm... You're, you're one of these hippie damn liberals coming up from California. You brought all the damn earthquakes with you. I... You're the problem. No, no, no. I also brought you some fresh romaine lettuce. I know how much you enjoy. Dude, dude, uh, you can't say that on the air. Yes, I can. People are going to storm the studio. People haven't had a Caesar salad in a it's, week and a half. It's like low grade, it's, bro. It is It is basically Watts out there during the riots right this now. This is the stuff you romaine. can smoke, Dave. And, and here. Romaine. Oh, oh. But it's legal here. Uh, and joining me by the Newsmaker line, she is the subject of this documentary, Dr. Angela Loria. Uh, Dr. Loria, welcome to the Dave Steeran Show. Hey, thanks for having me, Dave. Uh, I'm sorry you weren't able to make it up here, but don't worry. There's plenty of Alaska to go around. So uh, I, I'm going to lean on M here a little bit because he tends to be unbiased. He is, after all, a documentarian. Uh, but just a few quick questions, if, if I could, please, uh, Dr. Loria. What are you a doctor of, just to lead things off? So I have a Ph.D. in postmodern philosophy, uh, which is pretty esoteric, but Really, it is about how to live your best life through philosophy and introspection. So I use a lot of my PhD in my work, um, as well as my life coaching certification. Now, you, is your your life coaching certification, uh, as someone who's worked for 14 years in international aviation in the maintenance side, words like certification resonate with me. That is a, a big, big deal, not just with the FAA, but the uh, uh, other uh, agencies and government institutions globally that I have had to adhere to. When you say life coach certification, who is a governing body that gives you air quote, certification? So the International Coaching Federation is probably like the best known um, organizing body, but there are obviously multiple schools. Like, I don't know a lot about aviation, but I'm assuming there are multiple schools, and then that is kind of the overseeing body. They're the ones who set the number of hours of practice and the curriculum that's required and then like the testing protocols. Um, that's kind of the the major overseeing body. I think there are two or three others, but ICF is the one that my certification through. So is is that, uh, for example, the equivalent of of Harvard trained and certified? Is that I mean, I, I'm just I, life life coaches to me. I, I I mean, it's it's a fascinating money making proposition. I, I am a free market capitalist, but but I'm also someone that sees the late night infomercials for you know erectile dysfunction pills that aren't monitored by the FDA. And I'm not comparing what you do to that. You're I believe in in the trailer compared yourself to to a stripper. I would never ascribe you to that, but but uh, I, I guess my my question is, uh, and, and I applaud you for making money doing so. At what point in your life did you realize you need a life coach? Because. Every person, by and large, uh, who, who conducts informal therapy, for example, dealing with drug abuse or alcoholism or addiction to whatever, they themselves were on the road to self-destruction and made a change. Do you right. have By the way, that informal and formal, I think like most therapists have also had their own drama that led them to their preferred career choice. But that said, I lost 100 pounds on my own four different times. And I gained it back four times. Take me a year to lose 100 pounds, three months to gain it back. It's like Oprah. And yeah. There's, yeah, there's other yeah, comparisons yeah. to Oprah. We'll get into okay, but go okay. ahead. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. So the fifth 
time that I went to lose weight, I was like, I'm not going to do this if I ever gain it back again. I have to figure out what is at the root cause of this problem. And I tried everything. I did Jenny Craig, Nutrisys. I did it all. And then I found a life coach. And when I worked with this life coach, I lost weight much slower, but I kept it off permanently. Is that like a trainer? Was it someone who told you, you know, eat fewer calories, Mm -hmm. be more active, uh, cut the carbs? So she told me to feel my feelings and be an emotional adult, which didn't seemed to me at the time like it had anything to do with accomplishing the goal of losing weight, but everything else I'd tried had failed. And that's what I think is amazing about life coaching. Like if you have tried something else and it hasn't worked and you've tried it, you know, one, two, three, four times and it hasn't worked, there's probably something underneath that, that if you get to it, you can create permanent change. That's what I've seen, and that's what I see. So so you're providing some sort of quasi-psychiatric therapy without any real board certification or accreditation. You're, you're telling people to, to get their, yeah, their poop in the a group. Efficacy, but, yeah. Because the efficacy of people who are board certified is so good, right? Look at the efficacy of therapy. Aren't you board and the certified? Results that people get. I mean, you're 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 board certified, right? Me? Yes. There I mean, you you no have a you have a governing board, board no that certifies you. There and here here's no the thing: uh, we're speaking with uh, Dr. Angela Laura here on the Dave Steeren Show. You're speaking to a conservative free market capitalist. I applaud the late night infomercials. Uh, I think Ron Popeil should have his face on Mount Rushmore as a man who convinced millions of Americans <clears> to <throat> buy that that rotisserie oven it's and the Ronco the nicest, album baby. vacuum. Yeah, <laughs> but you know what, uh, Go ahead. Dave, Dr. Loria and people like her, whether they have degrees or not, I don't. In the film, The Way to Success, I have to do a little plug here. Yes, world premiere tomorrow night at the E Street Theater. Um, Unless, of course, an earthquake knocks a whole damn building down. It is not going to happen. Not going to happen. We we have traveled far and wide to come here to support Anchorage and to make sure yes. this world premiere happens. Um, but I, I have to say, they're, regardless, are they hurting people? Are they not hurting people? You know, I read that you're a devout Catholic, for yes. example. So what I'm curious just for, for you, I'm not taking sure. a position here, is— Do priests, Catholic priests, do they have a board certification and do they help people or do they hurt people? You know what I mean? On the the other end of this, not to defend her or life coaches, but people pay for this service Mm -hmm. to feel better, to feel good about themselves, the way they pay a therapist. And I think there's a lot of language here um, that you could get from a, a therapist, a life coach, a priest, a best friend, a mom a wife, a brother, sister, whatever. But for some reason, people resonate when they pay money. They pay these people money. It makes them feel better because it's sort of a value-added service. Like, well, I can't hear that I should break up with this guy, and I can't hear that I should get over the fact that, you know, I no longer have the career I want to. So their boyfriend, their wife might be telling them, it's okay, it's okay, you're okay. And then they either go to a therapist or they go to one of these life coaches. Exactly. Exactly. So, so, so what do you think about being a – you're a Catholic. Yes. What Do priests have to – can they help people I, if they're I, not I, board certified? I, I believe that they're, they go through a, a level of both initial and ongoing training and, and peer review. The Catholic Church, because of its failings, for example, in regards to sexual abuse scandal, has reevaluated that role as therapist and confidant. And is 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 I believe developing a difference between the physical body and psychological issues that a person may be experiencing, and spiritual healing, which may be completely different. Now, Doctor Angela, you're not trying to heal anyone's soul; you're trying to help them get that job, break up with somebody. Correct? But I think that is healing your soul. No, I'm absolutely healing their soul. What I help people do is get their books written. But the only reason. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. You, you, oh, wait, wait. Well, you don't, hold, just what the audience needs to know is second. that this woman has helped over 500 authors write their own self help book and then encourage and inspire them and often coach them to start and create their own life coaching business or to make their ex- pre existing life coaching business better. She's got like a, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but in my opinion, yes, she is probably the next Oprah, but she's running like a life coach factory over there. 
like just churning them out, churning them out, churning them out. Whether that's good for society or not, you decide. I'm not here to tell anybody, but that's what's happening. So you're you're not just someone who gives these these seminars at the airport Ramada in Boise, Idaho. You're someone that is encouraging people to go out and be life coaches themselves. People who came to yeah. you jacked up, you turn around in a three day seminar and and send them out in the world to to de jack up people who may have their own lives a mess. So here's the thing I find: we're all a mess and we're all awesome. So there are things. That you <laughs> we're, I'm sorry, we're what? Things. We're all a mess and we're all what? Awesome. We're, and we're all awesome. Right? Oh, I, I don't know if, if all of us are awesome. Somebody wanted to have their own radio show. I bet you. Would Please tell me how that works. I'd coach. love to hear you tell me how that works. Uh, no, I would love to hear you tell all of your people. Let's that are not make this about me. I'm very humble. I'm like George H. W. Bush humble. Show. This isn't so about me. There are also areas in your life where you probably should never ever coach anyone because you're not awesome at that. Yes. So my job as a coach is to find what's already spectacular about you. What are you amazing at? Well, how are you and able, if I can, if I can ask, if I can ask, just based on, and, and by the way, the, the way of success, uh, uh, the the uh, trailer doesn't do the, pro, the, the whole film justice. You've got to see that uh, uh, this weekend here in Anchorage. You make a comment in the trailer. We've done more in three days than many people have done in three years or, or five years, if I recall, in, in five years, if I recall that, that quote directly. That, that, that's just silly talk. That, that is just silly talk. What is the measure by that? What is the criteria when you say someone has done more in three days with breaks for lunch, for cigarettes, and the cocktail mixer later on that evening? What do people accomplish in three days besides deep encouragement to figure out how to change a tire and make their bed in the morning? So I will say there's lots of things I love about life coaching, but just inspiration is not one of them. We get a lot done. We do a one-year plan. We get their books published. We get them uh, clients. So we just had somebody today. I'm in the middle of a three-day right now, which is why I can't be in Alaska. Is it at the local had airport Ramada today. in Del Boca Vista, Florida? It is not. I have a castle. I have a 16,000-square-foot castle on the Potomac River just outside of Washington, D.C. I bring people to my home. Um, which is called the Author Castle. What, what is here. the average, if I can ask, the average jacked up, but I'm going to fix you in three-day tuition for someone to, to cross into Rivendell to, to learn the secrets of life in three days? What's Rivendell? Yeah, so what's Rivendell? I don't How think dare just you know? three-day events. We, do, um, we help people write their books. Right. Generally, the investment they are making yes. is about a tenth of the return they get. So I will tell you that in terms of the return. On average... Our clients make about $250,000 a year from their coaching practices from what they learn at our events. And they are paying a small fraction of that. Like, Somewhere so they're paying you $25,000, $2,000? I mean, just it ballpark on, me in the castle. No, somewhere between ten and $25,000 okay. to get a return, a 10x return on that investment. So if, if I understand correctly, just, Dr. Laura, if I, if I can, uh, uh, Donald Trump ran Trump University to teach people how to get rich in real estate, and that was an adorable court-ordered uh, scam. Uh, people who had more money than cents, gay, uh, in some cases, had... Uh, 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 not enough money and had to borrow it from loved ones to attempt Trump University. Aren't you, in essence, rebranded in a castle, maybe with a moat? Aren't you basically running Trump University on people who have more money than sense? If somebody has the cash to give you 25 grand for a three day seminar at the keep, uh, don't they already have the skills to pull their crap together without writing you a $25,000 check to do that? I mean, I think that's great. It's just that the um, results that our clients get and the happiness factor. So we have a 98.76% success factor. rate. I can't speak to what Trump's success rate was at Trump University, and I don't know how to teach people how to make money from real estate. But what I can say is making money by helping people make their lives better is something that I'm really good at and our results speak for themselves and people make investments all the time I so you have so you have a published prospectus of the results 
you 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 don't speak in in generalities of averages. You don't speak in broad terms of helping people. When, when you when very you talk... specific. The author incubator dot com slash results, and you can read dozens of stories of our clients. And we publish all our clients' names. Call any one of them, and they will tell you about the amazing results. All have. all of them. The the ones who two days in every said... single one oh, of very them. Good. Very good. In fact, good. hopefully someone on your team can start dialing. We have uh, 691 published authors, so start dialing. You will not find an unhappy client in the bunch. Now, now, just just to point out, here in the 21st century, my 14-year-old at home right now listening to this program, hello, baby girl, could publish a book without your help. Publishing a book in the 21st century Correct. is as 100%. easy as as you know, going to a, uh, a computer at the a library. You, you could, yeah, there, there's totally. really no barrier for people to publish books. Completely and grossly incompetent people do you, it you all know the what? time. I, w- I will say ahead. that... Um, yeah, there's that guy who published a picture of his foot, I think, and became an Amazon <laughs> bestseller. I will say First. that, yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't shy away about the fact that uh, people can do this themselves. What I... Um, I, again, I'm not here to take an opinion, but I will say what I was very surprised about, it just wasn't interesting to put in the film, is the level of information that is handed out just from a marketing standpoint alone about how to build their practice. Mm-hmm. I was, I, I will give her credit. I was shocked how much thought has gone into you need to get on this many podcasts, radio, you need to get yourself like the not just the hippy dippy encouragement right. that, that we think. There is practical tasks that I did witness, so it's I, I think it's fair for me to say that because it is easy to bash the industry and or her. And um, oh, I'm not bashing. Only, well, my point is, is there are good and bad in all of yeah, this. Yeah. I I just witnessed that, so I think it's fair to say that yes, your daughter can do a uh, do her own book. Yeah. She acknowledges that anybody can do their own book. Um, I I think he, what what we need to do here is have a a much larger discussion about regulation and about is this these people can just do it and they can just say it but some of them are amazing some of them are not i don't don't know have you ever been to a therapist oh yeah okay so have you ever had a good therapist and a bad therapist yes me too yes i haven't personally worked with a life coach but i have known people that i grew up with in high school who are still living in their oh my life coaches i married someone way better and smarter than me that's a pretty good plan yeah that's that it's worked out I, i i guess my point uh uh doc is you have a very good seminar on teaching people with no experience in writing on how to write practically anything and get published. And the actual life coach skill set is, I mean, it is that, is that 20% of three days at the keep? No, no, is no. It They're 60%? Actually, they, they, no, no, no. They have to come as a life coach. So I take people who are already qualified as a life coach. Qualified. And then. I, yeah, so meaning they have done a course, they have been certified, they have to have clients. No, 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 it's it's not the course you provide. This could be a course that any life coach provides, or do you, they have to have the course through? No, you. they're actual life coach schools, so they have to be trained as a life coach. And then what? How I many are in strip malls? Do, I'm just asking. How many are in strip I malls? I don't think they are in strip malls. Online? Usually they're just on the phone. On the phone? Yeah, they're all, uh, for the most part, life coaching happens from a website and a telephone. Oh, okay. Well, that that is an interesting point. And to me, you know, my career is mostly working with really well-known rock stars, very yes. very public profile people. The big show by M. That, well, That's what you do, baby. It is You're what the I guy. Do. I, well, whatever. I'm the guy for this movie. But what's interesting is um, I've said many times and people ask me, oh, what's it like to work with Paul McCartney or Madonna, Taylor Swift, Green Day, all these people I can, you know, just name Chuck up, is they have a magnetism and they have a personality. They also have hard work and drive. Mm-hmm. But- to launch those people, it's always been through, let's say, FM radio, MTV, right. the Today Show, and now with this aspirational society, life coaches are everywhere on Instagram, they're on Facebook, they're doing live seminars saying, you know, hey, look, this is my life, wouldn't you want to be a part of it? And I think it's fair to say if you see someone, as you learn in the film, Dr. Loria, five years ago, she was living with a like 50 grand of debt she was living with in a modest home and she's no castle and no castle no castle but and she she is the aspiration who doesn't want to be super successful and inspirational to lots of people so whether people think that she's the real deal or not is not my job right my job is to present a story that i hope is very interesting very entertaining and sparks a debate about 
what people like her do and the people she teaches do, are they helping? Are they hurting? You know, and I'd really love to hear what some people in Anchorage think about that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, Dr. Angela Laura, I, I've Laura, changed... it's Loria. Loria. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, the only name I ever get right is Kyle Mars Faraz Prawala. Ask me how I know that. It's bizarre. <laughs> it's that bizarre. Impressive. I can even spell it properly. Uh, <laughs> really quick question as our time is almost up. You, you, you live in a castle, a keep, uh, a holding along the Potomac. What is the permitting requirements for the troll under the bridge? <laughs> I'll look into that and get back to you. Is that where the unpublished attendees of the three-day wonder course go? You just banish them to the bowels of the keep? Oh, that might be it. Look, I'm so excited to see what people think about this film. It debuts tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. I want to hear what people think about life coaching because I think it's an important conversation to say, if I want to reach my goals, are they worth investing in? Am I going to let five, ten, fifteen, thirty thousand dollars stand in the way of me and my goals? Of course or am not. I willing it's to just money. In what I want. Make it rain, Doctor Loria. Make it rain. There you go. That's what I'm here for. I, I'm telling you, your I, your infomercials in between those fake uh, erection pills are going to be great on local TV at eleven o'clock at night. I look forward to seeing those. So I have some tickets. Ticket, I have some tickets to give away, and I. I, I really want to call on Anchorage. Is there anybody out there who has an opinion? Has anybody worked with a life coach? Anybody had a good experience? Anybody not had a good experience? Is it, is Anchorage a life coaching town, or are you stuck in traditional therapy or traditional um, religious advice? I don't know. What do you think? I, I think after a 7.2 earthquake and our first question was, are the liquor stores open? Mm. I think it may be a city full of people who say, I kind of got this now. Interesting. I mean— they were open within four hours after the earthquake. The the booze stores. Oh yeah, that's how we roll here. <laughs> like I'm not kidding you, not him. That yeah. is that's how we that's how we roll. Well, uh, Doctor Loria, I've, I've got to let you go. I'm up against it, uh, Doc. I appreciate uh, your your joining us here. Thanks for having me, Dave. You bet. You bet. Do you think she'll ever call again? I don't know. I think I it was. A, I think it was a good discussion between I you don't both. Know. I I think. Uh, I think you guys went there. Do you think she knows the psychic, the Long Island psychic? Do you think they do like a weekend package at the castle? The Long Island psychic comes in and exercises the spirits of failed life coaches? I don't know. And that's your next project. Mm, the the merger. The hey, merger. So uh, can we give some tickets away? Absolutely we can. All right. So uh, since I'm here visiting and, um, and I don't know you Anchorage folks, I would love to give three pairs of tickets. You'll be my personal guest. And your name will be on a list. And uh, so why don't you give us a call at whatever your number is, and maybe they could give us a quick opinion about what they think, yeah. and then we'll give them a ticket. All right. We'll give uh, them a pair. We're, we're, as you know, in, in radio, we're, we're far, far too late for the break, so gotcha. we will step away. The Dave Steering Show on Alaska's Place to Talk, KFQD. We want more. The Dave Steering Show continues now. Welcome to the Dave Steeran Show on FM News 103.7 KFQD. Uh, the weight of success, life coaches, profits or profits, you decide. M. Douglas Silverstein uh, was in studio with us along by the newsmaker line. The subject of this great documentary, Dr. Angela Loria. She herself is a strip mall in, in Belt Boca Raton, Florida certified uh, life coach. Richard, welcome to the Dave Steeran Show. Hello, hey, Richard. Dave. How are you doing, sir? Good, sir. So, uh, I can tell you I have mixed feelings about this, but I think some excellent points have been made that there are good and bad in every profession. Yes. My wife, my wife has used a life coach in the past, and the way I chalk it up, Dave, is I'm not into certain things. Like I don't, I don't do chiropractic care. But I know a lot of people that do. Yes. I, I know I know a lot of people that are into therapeutic massage. I know a lot of people that are into things that are on the fringe, energy control, et cetera. So these things, none of these things are for me. Right. But if they work for someone else, who am I to judge? I think there are life coaches out there that legitimately could help people. So who am I to judge at that point? Right. Well, you're, I think you're a... you were a little... Go ahead. I think you were a little harsh on that lady. I think you were a little mean to her. Oh, uh, yeah, I probably was. All right, fair enough. Yeah. 
Yeah, I was mean to her. I don't I don't like her. I don't like what she stands for. I don't like what she does. I don't like that she preys on people. If you're going to help someone uh, and you're going to call yourself a life coach and you help someone put their lives back together and you're charging them somewhere of twenty five to fifty thousand dollars all in and you're somehow billing yourself as your this altruistic savant of helping your lessers. She's not helping her lessers, Richard. She's going into upper middle class suburbia and finding people in that income range of 90 to 190 plus thousand dollars and telling them that via me, you can be a success. Define success. You're going to get a book published. Getting a book published is as easy as falling off a tree. Now making money getting a book published, she probably has valid information on that. But the seminar isn't spend three days, my 15,000 square foot castle and learn how to get published on the Internet by paying me $50,000. People do that and price shop to do that. What she is calling herself is a life coach. I can help you find your inner happiness. In her certification, with air quotes, is she trained to identify someone who may be a threat to themselves or others? Probably not. Is she doing so to help people, not because they lack a skill set to be successful in life, but they actually have skills and they've more than made enough money to pay her her fee? Yeah, I don't like her. I was mean to her. I'm a free market person, but let's not kid ourselves. People who have a three-day seminar at their 15,000-foot keep with oddly no moat and or troll, they're not there to help you they're there to profit and that's a good thing but let's not kid ourselves there are ministers who help people who minister to the poorest of the poor the sickest of the sick and then there are people who demand you send them cash under the auspices of being a minister because their g5 just isn't good enough and jebus wants them to have a g6 we see this all the time. And who am I to judge? I didn't make the film. I judge. You judge, Richard. Everybody judges. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody has a point of view. So while from a business standpoint, I completely applaud Dr. Angela Loria for making a lot of money and affording a 15,000 or 15,000 square foot castle, from a helping her fellow man standpoint, Boulder Dash. It is a variation of the Bible of profit. Profit ministry that I find disgusting and disdainful that some people truly appreciate. I'm not one of them. Not one of them at all. This isn't coaching someone to throw a curveball. This is taking their money under the false pretense that you've changed their life. I don't like her, and I was mean. And I sleep soundly tonight knowing that. It's the Dave Steeran Show. This is the Dave Steeran Show on KFQD. Dial 522-0750. Outside of Anchorage. Toll free. 888 750 and now, here's Dave Steer. All right, uh, we figured after spending some exhaustive time talking about life coaches, my life coach, Tim Sullivan, with the Alaska Railroad would come by and co- coach me up. No, I think Coach me up. I think we've all decided we're going to pitch in and get you a real life coach. Dave. Oh. It's just an absolute what, necessity what, at this point. What is a real life coach? I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, we had dads like, uh, figure your crap out or I'll kick your ass. I that, mean, that's a life coach, yeah, right? Yeah, mom and dad were my life coach. That was pretty much how that worked. It was, have you figured this out yet? No. Well, then you better. Yeah up to you yeah <laughs> get your crap together are life coaches a scam are they only in it for the money find out for yourself december 7th at the east street theater for the world premiere of the new documentary the weight of success other than being a stripper there's probably not a job out there that has less credibility than being a life coach are they modern profits or only concerned with profits you decide with the film to see at the 18th annual anchorage international film festival don't miss the world premiere of the new documentary the weight of success december 7th at the east street theater 